Hi, I am Deepika. I have framed this course out of my personal interest in helping students of environmental studies and to those who like the subject. This course is focused on India, Pakistan and Bangladesh as they share many things in common. But anyone who has hunch for history can also take up this Udemy course. Environmental studies like other subject has a history, rather it is a part of the history. Whatever our experiences had been in the environment help us become better in future. In this lecture, I will give you a foundation about how our land evolved in the past. Indian subcontinent has an interesting geological past which has shaped its mighty Himalayas and big rivers like Ganges. So let's see. To start with, we must understand how the Indian subcontinent evolved over time. Here time means geological time scale that is running over millions of years. To give a perspective of the size of Indian subcontinent, it extends 4000 km from north to south. About 150 million years ago, what we call South Asia, which basically comprises Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, Nepal, Bhutan and Sri Lanka, were located near Earth's South Pole, attached to Antarctica, Africa and Australia, all part of supercontinent Gondwana. The slow and incessant phenomenon of plate tectonics caused this part of Gondwana to break apart and turn counterclockwise, split off Africa and shed Madagascar and then the Seychelles Island, becoming the Indian subcontinent or Indian plate. At the rate of 7 to 20 cm per year, which is faster than other continents, Indian plate migrated more than 10,000 km northward over millions of years. Between 40 and 65 million years ago, the northern edge of the Indian plate crashed into the larger Eurasian plate, forcing itself down and under, that is subduction, twisting and deforming in the process. Now, what emerged out of this collision is the mighty young Ford Himalayas, which contains nine of the world's ten tallest peaks, including Mount Everest, also known as Sagarmatha or head of the ocean in Sanskrit, Chomolangma in Tibetan, which means divine mother of the mountains. Glacier-covered mountains of Himalayas and Tibet were so difficult to cross that historically there have been limited direct exchanges between India and China. Even though both major cultures evolved on the either side of the same mountain range. From about 9000 BCE that is 11,000 years ago, some nomads brought some plants like barley and rice, animals like sheep, goats and cattle through summer thought passes into India. Indus, Ganges and Brahmaputra flow at maximum volume in summer month because this season overlaps with the southwest monsoon which intensifies flooding. These glaciers are facing threat today due to global warming which will affect the perennial flow of mountain fed rivers of the Himalayas. These Himalayas in the northeastern part are not as high due to a different angle of the collision. So, there was more movement across the mountains and we see that many communities in the northeast speak tibeto burman family language. On the northwest corner, the impact of plates created another rugged range including the Karakoram, Hindu Kush in the northwest and Suleiman to the west respectively separating China, Afghanistan and Central Asia and Iran from Pakistan and India. Man-made Karakoram Highway provides connectivity between Pakistan and China as part of China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. Natural Khyber and Bolan Pass connect Pakistan with Afghanistan and were the main passage through which people and animals travel between India and Central Asia and further to Europe. Subducting Indian Plate created the subduction plain known as Indo-Gangetic Plains. 
These plains stabilized over geological time scale of 5 lakh years to 10 lakh years during late quaternary to form sediment layers up to 3000 meter thick on Indus plain and up to 6700 meter thick on Gangetic plain. The Indian plate also tilted as it collided, the eastern part sinking and the western edge rising. This is the reason for major Indian rivers running west to east. The southern peninsular part of Indian plate comprised narrow mountain ranges of eastern Ghat and western Ghat with Deccan Plateau in between and coastal plains on the flanks or margins. During the plate movement, Deccan Plateau suffered fissured volcanoes which laid a layer of basalt rock over the old Gondwana rocks. Over time, basalt rocks weathered to create the black soil. Other peninsular ranges include the Vindhyans, the Satpura and the Aravalis. Narmada and Tapi are the two rivers which flow along Rift Valley and flow east to west in this region. Narmada separates Vindhyan and Satpura. Tapti flows between two ranges of Satpura. The Aravali separates Indus Basin from the Ganges Basin. Hope you like this lecture. Do comment and post your queries and I will be happy to answer them.